Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I just want to do something quick. I know you guys like my quick videos. I'm going to do you a quick update on the price with VeChain. Quick analysis, show you what I see in the charts. If it sounds interesting to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. Before I dive into this, I need to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market. So please do your further research before you invest your money. That being said, let's dive into this. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know, I did draw up this Fibonacci retracement back from uh, its last previous highs, which we had in May, oh, well, April, as I say, May. And then it fell down in May, the disgusting drop. And, you know, I still believe that this is a good uh, an, uh, Fibonacci to, you know, consider taking profits when it gets up here to this full Fib extension of 4.23, we are looking about a dollar in the future, okay, or just a bit over. And I, you know, I base this off of Solana's charts. You can check my prior videos, you can see what I mean by this, and then you'll understand the V chain. Just check it, it's called uh, the top for V chain. I've got many different top videos that I, you know, show you where I think smart money is going to take profits. But what's going to happen short term? Well, right now, I have up this yellow line, and you know, if you watch my channel, I always try to keep it clean and simple, you know, show you what I see. Oh, what have I done? there just undo that oh no just just mess it up even more you know oh i know what i did <laughs> uh, let me click it again there you go so i because i was trying to click up this yellow line here let me do it over here i have the 21 day moving average line it's yellow and the reason i use this because it's very significant some people use the 20 day i like to use the 21 day they're very similar basically when price action is below the 21 day it usually resists and finds it hard to break above. But when it does break above, we see some good moves. And as you can see in the past with VeChain, you know, for new people that are in, you know, some people don't understand technical analysis. I want to make it super simple. Look, when we broke here, we bounced above, you know, had a little dip, but we've constantly been riding this yellow line like a wave. And this is why I use the 21 moving average because it's powerful, can guide you on your journey. Uh, so what are we seeing short term? So right now, VeChain is testing this 21. Now, I expect it because it broke it, you know, to bounce off of it. I'm looking for VeChain to bounce off it, come up to this line here, which is on the Fibonacci level. Uh, it's sitting about 13 cents. You can see here, 13 cents. Uh, hear the postwoman at my door. <laughs> Usually it's postman, but we've got a woman, so postwoman. Anyway, uh, I'm looking about 13 cents. If it can break that great, I mean, it's got some resistance up here, and I'm just going to try and draw it somewhere, somewhere around here. Hold on, let me just try and draw it. It's not going to be absolutely accurate, but I'm going to change the color on this one, because this is resistance, and you know, VeChain needs to break above this if it can break, because you can see in the past, right, this white line, you know, it resisted here, tried to break above it, didn't happen, it fell right down, came back up again, you know, right here, tried to break uh, break it, couldn't break it, fell right down. So, you know, VeChain has to come above this white line. If it can do that, I would expect it to, you know, I mean, it, it's clear skies in my eyes, because, you know, the next bit of resistance is all the way up here. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Uh somewhere around this yellow line here between the yellow and the blue here uh which is funny enough around the 702 so 702 is going to be its main for me the main target if v chain can break this white line uh what's it doing down there Hold on. <laughs> just it happens you know uh 21 cents that's where i would be looking if it breaks the 13 cents to the 15 cents 21 cents that's what i'm looking at uh, I also want to show you this on a different perspective, uh, this one here, because this is the weekly time frame, and as you can see up here for VeChain on the weekly, I've got up the RSI. Why? Because something truly unique is happening. Now, the last time we saw VeChain, you can see I circled it here, right? Just before the massive drop, we saw the rise, just before the drop. You know, just here, we saw VeChain's RSI come down to this white line, which is on the, is basically 45. If you want to grab this up, you can. It will really guide you. It's basically tradingview.com, totally free. Join it, and then you can, you know, search VeChain. I've done VET to USDT. It comes up. You can actually just type VeChain. It's the Binance one up here against Tether, and then it should show up. USDT and then you can set the time frame to the weekly and then if you want to grab up this RSI you click on indicators just type RSI and it comes up right down here uh, so up there <laughs> well relative strength index that's what we're dealing with and here is powerful because it gives you good insight as to what can happen the last time we bounced off of this just before the you know the rise uh, you know it, it went from a penny 
if you look over here to the right hand side a penny all the way to 15 pence why do i show you this because you know in the long-term perspective i can see v chain doing a similar thing and if you look right now and that was by the way two thousand percent oh and if you look right now you know it bounced off this tried to rally you know it had a little fouled rally not a big fouled rally just came back down it's bounced almost bounced off of it again now you know could, should this go up I would expect it to do something similar. And if you look, oh, let me just draw. I'm trying to get, trying to draw here. Why didn't it let me draw? I would ex, it's not let me draw. <laughs> Why didn't it let me draw? Okay, let me try again. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let me undo that. I would expect it to do something like this. You know, this is what I'm thinking. Something like this, test back up to these highs that we had before, and then maybe come down to, you know, refresh its system uh and just to show you the highs of what it was before i'm just going to point this out to you guys because you have a window of opportunity of when you should be taking profits was at the rsi was at 93 and that's when we you know back in april may hit the tops if this is to happen something similar to here what i've drawn you know it might not be accurate if it is to happen, you have a good opportunity to, you know, look at this RSI and know when to take your profits. Because this is what I'm doing. I'm watching this RSI. Look, it's right down here right now. You've got a huge opportunity to take profits when it's when the RSI is up here. And look at this. Look, again, this is the weekly time frame. F frame. And you can see it's looking kind of bullish because it's just broke this 21 weekly moving average the same thing 21 but on the weekly and it's it's remained above it it's printed a candle above it now this could be bullish because it's printed a candle above you know the second candle's there if this yellow line you know starts coming upwards like this i expect the price for v chain to ride it like a wave just like what it did in its last cycle well here you know ride it rode it like a well it was far away from it <laughs> had a bit of gap but yeah that's what i'm looking at short term for v chain uh, hopefully this helps you on your journey if it was helpful please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching I'm gonna keep doing these now because we're getting close to the top of the market and people need to know when to be taking profits how much time they have and whatnots so yeah thank you for watching if you haven't already done so you can become a patron I've got seven tiers take your pick I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier what is it I'll show you my exclusive VIP partner tier you have access to all my posts when I buy when I sell when I stake don't miss it. Grab this opportunity if you can uh, afford it, of course. And if you want that little bit more, I've got my CEO partner tier. You get super alerts, exclusive access to my VIP Telegram group, where I tell you what I'm going to do, wait before I buy, wait before I sell, wait before I do anything, all in there. Okay, so uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.